Hello besties, welcome back to Down for Glam. My name is Gigi and today we have Dolly and we are working on her. Now I am only going to show uh, actually doing a little bit of the set. I'm not going to show the whole thing. As you can see we've got one nail already done and that nail actually was the first nail that I did with E-Nail Couture just as a trial when I first got the product. So now what I'm doing is laying down a slip layer and we're gonna go ahead and build a nail from here. And, um, oh, actually I'm sorry. What we're gonna do is a glitter. We're gonna pour some glitter on this nail and make it a full glitter nail and it's gonna be gold because this set is all black and gold, which I'm sure you saw when you clicked on the video. But this is gonna be our glitter nail and we're gonna go ahead and cure this up. Then I'm gonna just wipe it down to get the extra glitter off. And we are gonna go ahead and encapsulate that. Give it some strength. Then we're gonna cure that up. And we are on the um, ring finger which we will be moving on to any second now. We're going to do um, a French with a black and gold tip, which is such a cute nail. I absolutely, excuse me, I absolutely love how it came out. And we're going to use the cover pink for the nail bed. And we're going to extend it down just a little bit. Give it kind of a lengthy look. adding a little bit more there because I do like a long nail bed. If you hear noises in the background, my daughter is here and she is playing with my puppy. Now what we're doing is adding, I did off camera, I went on ahead and filed up that smile line. I didn't shape the whole bed. It's very bulky and huge and weird looking, but that's okay, it all comes out in the filing. And right now I'm just doing a nice thin layer of clear. And then you saw there we have the Model 1's cream colors in black. And we're going to paint the entire nail tip in the black, going up the side a little bit to give that um, some color. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. And it's okay if you get some on the on the white or on the cover pink rather, because like I said, that's gotta be debulked. All of that is going to be filed away. So if you're a little messy, that's totally fine. Now that it's all black, what I'm gonna do is take a little cleanup brush and make sure we've got all of that off of Dolly. And then I'm also gonna take a very tiny brush and put it in some of the um, builder gel, the clear gel, and then dip that in the glitter. And then we're gonna run that through the black just to give it a little bit of dimension and a little bit of sparkle and shine. There we go, there's that glitter. And we're just running that through there. Sorry, that got a little out of focus. And I'm also a little out of frame because this editing program, I think. <laughs> but here you go, now we're back in frame and I'm just encapsulating that black and that glitter. And then of course we're gonna cure that up. And it doesn't matter if it's not super pretty at this stage, because with a nail like this, it all comes out in the filing. And you'll see that when we get a little further into the video. <clears throat> I think this would be a super pretty look that you could use for like a New Year's Eve set or something. I think it would be really nice. Now I'm just coming in with a little base coat and if you can see on the side of the nail, I did accidentally file away a little bit of the glitter and so what we're gonna do to fix that is just dampen a brush and pick up a little glitter with it and then press it into the side there of that base coat so when we cure it it's completely covered again and then we'll just top coat it and it'll all be like it was never gone Ta -da! 
because sometimes you just file away more than you wanted to or you needed to to thin it out more than the glitter would allow so we're just base coating all of these nails to make sure they're nice and smooth before we add our polish now the pinky finger and the index finger we're going to paint both of those black and this is the mifa polish and this video is not sponsored by any company. We use a lot of different things here today. The glitter came from Walmart and trust me, Walmart don't know who I am. And don't forget to cap those edges. And it was a little messy, but you know, I clean it up. I'm gonna clean it up before it goes in the lamp. <clears throat> There we go. Fix everything up real nice. And that's my dog choking. You okay there, buddy? You okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, now everything's cured up and I have done two coats. And what I did was take a little bit of the base coat and just swoosh it across the nail. And then after curing it, I took some gold transfer foil and just pressed it on there and ripped it off real quick. I didn't want a full gold nail. I wanted black and gold together. And then what we're going to do, go ahead and make sure you look at it when I put the top coat on because that's your only chance to see it shiny, okay? Because we are going to make those two nails matte, which I think came out so cute. But here we are top coating the glitter, which really wasn't that big of a reveal because the base coat's already a little shiny. And here we are with our French. I love that glitter. It's so pretty. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to use the matte top coat for the two black nails. But, just for the sake of shininess, while it's wet, you will be able to see that it's pretty shiny. Pretty shiny. And it looks good shiny, actually. It really does. But I think after it's matte, there's just something super nice about it. And then we're going to cure that up. I'm definitely not forgetting to cap those edges. You want that to be matte as well. And here is the finished set. Look how cute that is, Matt. I love how this set came out. Let me know in the comment section below, would you wear this? Do you enjoy it? Do you like black and gold? Do you prefer silver? Let me know. Let me know also the new year is coming. What are some things that you'd like to see on the channel? Definitely want to get those done for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.